What is up, Blender and Fish fans? We are back with another sweet video. <coughs> and today we are going to be making a latter. Yes, I know what I'm going to make before I'm making it. Amazing. And the reason we're making a ladder is if... Oh, let's scale first before we do anything. The reason we're making a ladder, go to local, is we have a bunch of Christmas updates in our game. And that has introduced a whole new section of problems where people are getting their things, their Christmas items, stuck on their roofs. So maybe you need it for your game, maybe you don't. But either way, if you'd like to follow along, follow along with me. Maybe you just want to watch for ideas. Either way, you're welcome to follow along. All right. So let's do this. Let's be smart and quick about this as fast as we can, and make it look as good as we can. I'm not sure the greatest length on this. What we could do is make it uh, double. So make one, and then we'll f uh, make a second one that extends, maybe. But I think I'm just going to make one straight up. You're free to do whatever you like. I'm sure what I'm doing here will help you get through it either way. So I'm just going to move it over to one side and we will shift D it and we'll see if we have enough of a gap from side to side. So when I take out this minus now, it's going to put it exactly on the other side. Keep our ladder nice and symmetrical. Now hopefully that's enough for you. If not, delete this one, move this one out farther and do the same process until you get exactly how big of a ladder you want. It's going to kind of depend on you. What I might do though, I might delete it, move it just a hair out, but maybe we'll go into edit mode. Okay, and um, just for looks, maybe in edit mode, we'll go up to the lines here, and we're just going to grab all four of these and just give them the slightest curve. But when we do it for the first time with control B, it's going to give us just one edge. So what we're going to do is go to bevel, change that up a little bit to 5. I usually do 6. Up to you what you want to do. Then we're going to undo that and then we're going to redo that. And it's going to do it nice and evenly. Okay. And as you see it just softens the edge to kind of make it look a little better. Well, one other thing I could say is um, most times these ladders are hollow in fact. So what we could do before we make the other side again. Shift D. Okay. We're going to hit S. Take it down a little bit. And then we're going to take it out this way a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to focus in on this edge. Just hit S again and you'll see it get bigger and bigger the more that shrinks. What you're looking for is a nice and even edge all the way around. That looks like you're going to be able to see that there's a nice thick edge there before you hollow it. If you need to adjust it. There we go. Okay. Make sure both ends are sticking out of either end for you get a full cut all the way through. Grab the inner one, grab the outer one with shift, shift left click, object, bool, top, difference. And as you can see, now we have a tube all the way through. A beautiful tube. A beautiful, beautiful tube. Alright, shift E it. And we're going to do the same thing, minus the minus. Okay, so now we have a decent sized ladder. Hopefully that looks good to you. Now I hear you saying, well, Lord Fish, what's next? Well, we're going to make, and make sure you're out of edit mode, push tab if you're still in edit mode, a cylinder, okay, making sure you're out of edit mode again, oops, not 900, we'll turn this, oops, I did the wrong one, just hit that back to zero, we want this one, I think, yep, that's the one, my bad, shrink it down, Pull it out, probably go a little farther, and then we're going to shrink it down again. And when you're happy with the size, we're going to stop. And then we're going to shift D it. This is a little tricky, but make sure you stay on your axis and just slide it up. Maybe you can use these bars underneath to kind of give you a reasonable gap in between each one. You can see how we, since we rescaled the map there, we can just kind of use those over and over and we're just going to go work our way up and every time you can go shift D right right click to cancel and I was just checking which one it was and then we're going to get rid of the minus and there you go 
this one, shift D, get rid of the minus, and then you're evenly putting your rungs all the way up and down the ladder perfectly. So we'll go back to this one, we'll shift E, and that's shift D, not E, Daniel, not Edward, come on. All right, and we'll just shift D that one, obviously, if I didn't already, and we'll just go to the minus, minus it, and did I already do that one? Remember, you could push right click to cancel a movement, like I just did. And that's how you could double check to make sure you're not putting too many there. Because sometimes you get a little mixed up. Or at least I do. So now we got that one in place. We're going to shift D. Get rid of the minus. It might not be exact this way, but I feel like it's pretty darn close. So I think it'll be definitely good enough for your game. And definitely good enough that nobody's going to notice if it's out of place slightly. Here's the last one. Let's try to get it centered. Shift D it. And we'll get rid of the minus. All right, so we have a perfectly built ladder now. Perfectly symmetrical, hollow like it's supposed to be. You can make a second one and double it up if you want, but let's just do this. Click the first one, shift click the rest of them. Okay, shift click this one. Oh, you know what? Maybe we won't do it that way. Let's click this one, click this one, and we're gonna click one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then click the sixth one in the middle after. Control J. So now the control point is exactly in the middle of that piece. I just decided to do it that way to make it a little easier to put the ladder up and take it down and stuff like that. Up to you if you want to follow along. One last step, we'll quickly color it. Um, ladder is typically the same color, but we're gonna do two colors just to make it a little better. So into tab mode, which is edit mode. We're just going to go to this and we're going to make it gray, but we're going to make it like a lighter gray. Okay. Assign. And we might have to be on faces. Assign. Okay. And then since we're still highlighted on other parts, we don't want to be on the inside of the ladder, but we want to be on these rings. So I'm just going to click all these with L. And we're just assigning another color scheme to it. Gonna go plus new, and we're just gonna make it a little bit darker and give us the ability to, to make those two colors different if we want to. We can still make them the same if we want to, but they can also be different now. So when you put them in your game, it'll say what color do you want to put on this and what color do you want to put on that. You put the same, you put different. Just giving us the option. So edit edit mode, we're pretty good. I think we're good to go on our ladder. It's one item. We can move it up or down. Um, you might have to change the axis before you export it, but I think we're good to go. You could also do a subdivide if you're really worried about the textures and you're going to do a really fine texture on it, but I think it's pretty good. You could even make it wood if you want. So thanks, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you thumbs up. And we'll be back again for another wicked Blender video where we make some stuff that you may want for your game. Bye.